You know, a lot of people make a pretty good living by bidding on and purchasing storage units. Most of the time, as you've seen probably on TV, the buyer is only aware of a few items inside, not everything. Well, News Channel 5's Aaron Cantrell tells us why one Hohenwald woman's latest bid has her now planning a going away service for a complete stranger. So this is what you get sometimes. It's easy for Jerry Drews to find the value in boxes full of stranger stuff. Oh, see, here we go. In this town, we're known in Hohenwald, Tennessee for junk stores. It's why she bids on storage units. It's online now, and it's way easier. You don't have to be there in person. The auctioner will list some of the items. That's how I got most of my child's wardrobe, because I bought a storage locker and I got lucky and pulled out about twenty or $30,000 worth of kids' clothes that fit my baby. The rest? Well, it comes as a surprise. If anybody wants any vintage baseball cards, I have 12000 She takes a lot of the items and resells them at a shop named after her daughter. Angel Acres Junk Store, because it's Angel's Farm. Drews has come across some unique items. I found a pig in a jar, like a little baby pig and a baby shark one time which I thought was odd. Recently, something else made the list after purchasing a unit for $100 in Shelbyville at Compass Self Storage. A week later, digging through it because it was so much. And we found these in a laundry basket on the bottom of the locker. Boxes labeled Granny's Ashes. It was these three little boxes and we we're like, why are there three boxes and they're numbered Granny's Ashes 2, 3, and 4. Drews wants to find the previous owner. She's been looking for clues. Family photos and stuff like that. Searching yeah. through all the boxes. Oh, yeah. This doll was supposed to come to you at my death. Here, her name is Brittany. I believe it's Harwell. Despite the name, she's had no luck. She hopes someone will come forward on Granny's behalf. I hope if somebody finds my ashes in a storage locker someday, they don't throw me in a dumpster. In Lewis County, Erin Kentrell, News Channel 5. Well, thanks, Aaron. Drews would like to reconnect with the family within the next few weeks because she's getting ready to move. If you recognize the contents of that storage unit, reach out to her. We have the information posted on newschannel5.com.